Hello friends, I am Dr. Ashish Agrawat. Welcome to my channel Live Biochemistry. In this video, I am going to talk about the miscellaneous minerals like magnesium, manganese, chromium, molybdenum and lithium. So it will be very short video and it will be helpful to you in the MCQ and competitive exam and in the viva. So stay tuned and watch this video till the end. If you are new to the, my channel, please subscribe to my channel. So now I am going to share my screen. So we start with the manganese. So manganese, total body manganese is around 15 milligram. Maximum concentration is in the liver. Daily requirement is around 5 milligram per day. And sources are nuts, tea and leaves. Present mainly in the RBCs in combination with several porphyrins. And it is transported in the plasma in combination with the beta-1 globulin called as a transmanganese. Just remember. Now it has a role in the cofactor or as an activator of many enzymes. Most important are hexokinase, arginase, and enolase. Okay, it is also present in isocitrate, dehydrogenase, phosphoglucomutase, pyruvate carboxylase, cholinesterase, lipoprotein lipase, leucine aminopeptidase in intestine, phosphotransferase, and 5 oxoprolinase in kidney. Okay, manganese and magnesium play may replace one another in case of some of the enzymes. Okay, just like example is for the exokinase, it may replace one another, pyruvate carboxylase, okay, and enolase. So they will replace each other in these enzymes. Then mitochondrial form of the superoxide dismutase contains the manganese in its prosthetic group, unlike cytosolic form, which can which is in the copper and zinc. Okay, so mitochondrial form of the superoxide dismutase they contain the manganese okay while cytoplasmic form of the superoxide dismutase it will be present in copper and zinc remember this manganese is an integral part of the glycosyl transferase which is responsible for synthesis of glycoprotein and chondroitin sulfate it is also required for the rna polymerase activity it has a role in the animal reproduction it has a role in the bone formation manganese play important part in in synthesis or deposition of mucopolysaccharide in cartilages matrix of the long bones. Manganese deficiency causes significant lowering of the chondroitin sulfate. Role in the fat metabolism, it has a lipotropic effect, stimulate the fatty acid synthesis and cholesterol synthesis. It has a role in the proteoglycan synthesis. So in the glycoprotein and proteoglycan, manganese are important. Okay. So it may act in the pyruvate carboxylase as we have seen in the gluconeogenesis or acetyl coa carboxylase in the fatty acid synthesis or superoxide dismutase in the mitochondrial form. Okay. Another important part is for the formation of glycoprotein and formation of okay, mucopolysaccharides. Okay, chondroitin sulfate. Okay, they are very important. So other like in the enolase, phosphoglucomutase. Okay arginase where manganese is very important so this is about the manganese now coming to the molybdenum only one thing that you have to remember about molybdenum it is for the xanthin oxidase okay source is cereal dry legume the requirement 0.5 milligram day not all important most important is molybdenum is for the xanthin oxidase remember molybdenum deficiency cause depression of the xanthin oxidase activity and increase excretion of xanthine and decrease the uric acid excretion. Molybdenosis deficiency of molybdenum is associated with the increased incidence of esophageal cancer. Okay. Now coming to the lithium, it is an essential growth factor in tissue culture. Highest concentration are seen in the brain. Mean intake is around 50 microgram per day. Normal human skeletal muscle contains 2 to 200 nanogram per gram of body weight weight. Use in treatment of manic depressive psychosis, bipolar disorder. Remember, like molybdenum, what we have to remember, it is for the xanthine oxidase. Lithium, we have to remember, it is for the treatment of the manic disorder or bipolar disorders. But it has a very narrow therapeutic range. So therapeutically optimal concentration of lithium is 7 to 10, while 12 microgram is toxic. So always we have to do therapeutic drug monitor when we are giving the lithium. Okay, narrow safety margin, right? So lithium will cause the inhibition of inositol phosphatase, leading to increased concentration of inositol phosphate in the brain. Elevated serotonin level and reduce the catecholamine in the brain tissue. 
and toxicity will lead to the hypothyroidism, hyperparathyroidism, and kidney damage. Not all most important. What you have to remember in lithium, it is a narrow safety margin. Seven to ten is optimum, and above ten it is a toxic, and it is used in the mania. Okay, and bipolar disorder. Uh, regarding uh, molybdenum, you have to remember it is used for the xanthine oxidase, and for the manganese, you have to remember it is for the gluconeogenesis, fatty acid synthesis. Right, and it is for the arginase enzyme. Many enzymes are dependent on the manganese. Okay, <laughs> like arginase, enolase, etc. Now coming to the one, one more important, it is the chromium. Okay, so it will increase insulin sensitivity. It has a role. Okay, in insulin receptor mediated receptor mediated. Cell signaling, right? And chromium deficiency lead to the impaired, impaired glucose tolerance. If there is a deficiency, right? Deficiency lead to impaired glucose tolerance. That is important about the chromium. Now, last we will talk about the magnesium, right? So, along with the calcium and phosphorus. Magnesium is present is a thermal mineral that is present mainly in the bone and teeth. Okay, fifty-five percent is present in uh, bone and teeth, right? And uh, it has a role in the with the ATP. It will stabilize the phosphorus group of the ATP. So wherever there is ATP is required, okay, like kinase, all the kinase, exokinase, all the kinase. Okay, magnesium is required. It is also required for the enolase. Okay, it is also required for the pyruvate carboxylase, right? So in all this condition, magnesium is required. It is also required for the DNA and RNA polymerase. Okay, so in molecular biology, also this magnesium is very very important. So this is all about the different type of minerals. Everything we have covered about the minerals. I hope you like this series of the mineral. This is the last lecture of the mineral. I hope you like this video. If you like this video. Please hit the like button, share my video, subscribe to my channel, and press the bell icon so that you can get the notification for my future video. Also, thank you for watching. Bye.